Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today's episode, we're going to talk about a tool called Plastic that allows you to pay just about anything with this, a credit card, and why this is important, how it works. We'll do a full demo so everything you need to know to play along at home and hopefully find a secret weapon to hit these really hard to get sign up bonuses. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get the work. So what is Plastic? Plastic with a Q, just so you know, I didn't spell it wrong, it is with a Q. It's been around for a while, but Plastic is a site that allows you to pay things like a car loan, like your mortgage with a credit card. So, you know, Plastic is a payment processing site. How it works is you will log your card onto Plastic. You will enter in the payers and pays information, who you want to send the check to or the ACH to, however they choose to accept payment. Plastic will then charge you, they will charge your credit card, you know, that full amount plus a processing fee of 2.85%. Then they will either mail a check or do an ACH or what have you to that company that you're trying to pay you will end up getting you know minimum spend on your credit card that makes it pretty easy to hit something like say this Inc Premier card that has a ten thousand dollar spend requirement in three months now this video is going to focus on plastic and how to use plastic specifically making a payment to my car loan using um, the Inc Premier card I have a full video on the actual overall strategy and how I arrived to using this card and using plastic and the money I got back that will be linked down below if it's not out already it will come out shortly after this so just be aware of that. This is just a demo on plastic. So that's plastic. Now let's talk about why you would want to do this. Well, you'd want to do this because again, we talked about the sign and bonus. Some sign and bonuses are very hard to get hit, especially on the business card side. You know, something like the Amex Business Platinum is like 15,000 in spend, the Inc. Premier, 10,000 Inc. Preferred, 15,000 in spend. You know, they're business cards, but they're high spend. And you know, we still want the bonus, right? Now, other times is hotel annual nights or reward certificates. You know, for example, you know, some cards say if you spend X amount of dollars on a Hilton or a Hyatt card, we'll give you a reward night. That can be worth it as well. Airline status as well. Sometimes you just spend a certain amount on a on an airline card and they can give you status that way. Um, but again, because of that 2.85% processing fee, those are really going to be your only only scenarios that you'd want to do this. And again, most cards are going to charge you like one or only going to be triggering the catch all category of one X anyway. So it's not really enough to offset the 2.85%. So as a result, the use cases are limited, but those use cases are very powerful, profitable use cases. So what exactly can you pay with plastic? Let's take a look at this. So here we have it. This is from Plastic. We support the following payment types by credit card. So you can see here MasterCard, Visa, Discover, then American Express is on its own. Now, I'll link to this down below, but you always want to double check this because this is constantly changing. Some car issuers, namely Amex, can get upset about folks using plastic. And there's been many a case where like they were, you know, manufacturing spend claims and the Amex rewards abuse team got involved in that whole thing. I'm not saying it's against the rules that you can't use it. You're just going to want to keep checking to see, you know, before you commit to this strategy, you're going to want to just make sure that plastic takes whatever payment you're trying to do. Plastic, as you'll see, will also ask you some questions about who you're trying to pay because I believe plastic does have partnerships with the processors as well. I'm not 100% on that, but I, I think that's kind of how it works on the back end. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about plastic. Now, talking about it, it's only going to get us so far. So we're going to jump to the computer again. The use case we're walking through is paying my car loan with the Inc. Premier card. So that's what we're going to be using. The only thing I've done is set up the account. I, you guys can pretty much handle setting up an account, but we'll walk through adding the card, cutting the check, and just a little bit about the user interface, and we'll come back here for some final thoughts. Here we are on Plastic site. Like I said, all I did was end up making um, an account, haven't done anything else. So this is where you land. So over on the left-hand side, you can see this is kind of our navigation bar. So there's a few sections under pay, then get paid. So the date we have on under pay, you can have drafts. If you have anything scheduled or you know already payments, you can check those. Recipients, you know, if you have a list of folks that you continuously pay, looks like you can build out a robo dex and of course, I'm a spot to add your cards or your bank accounts. Now, really quick here, we're not going to spend too much time, but there is a way to get paid with plastic if you are a company. So, looks like you need to set this up a little bit more here. You can also have a robo dex of customers as well. 
Now, really quick here in the account section, um, the first one here, this is just my info that I'm blacking out, um, but then you have a setup for your team. So if there were more folks associated to this YouTube channel, you know, sending payments or what have you, I could have them here. They could go approve, send and request money. And then you also have a potential to tie this into some accounting software. Looks like QuickBooks is a pretty big one um, that they offer. Now you also have, oh, we have a referral link. So if I share this referral link and you guys use that, then you know I can end up getting some fee-free dollars, which would be pretty cool. So no pressure, but I'll link that down below. If you find this interesting or useful, um, feel free to take advantage of that. And then, of course, the same get paid section. So that's pretty much a tour of it. You know, not much there, but overall, I like a clean, simple interface. Now, let's get to work here. So the first thing we're going to need to do to do this is actually add a card. So linking your card, pretty easy. You can see you have the option of credit card or a bank account. Um, it'll go through Plate if you use a bank account. So again, um, not, uh, not many people here are going to use a bank account. We're going to do a credit card. So I'm going to enter this information in and uh, we will come back to this in a second. Okay, and we're back. So um, credit card information entered pretty easily. Again, it's just the account number, then your address. Now, one thing I do like is that they do allow you to put a, a name for the card. So you can call it Ink Premier. Again, if you have a lot of cards, that comes in handy. I don't think that'll be a problem here, but it's always a nice touch. But again, now it's time to make this actually happen. So up here, we want to say pay with this card and it will launch us into um, the bills payment and start a draft. So what we have here is where we can build out our, our recipient. So you can see again, they're taking all the major, even Diners Club is on there. Um, so pay one of your existing recipients or add a new one. So I need to create a new one. So they will search the network. So um, we're going with GM Financial and then let's continue. So they said this is a new one. So we're going to have to enter in the information ourselves. So you can send an ACH bank transfer or a paper check. Now, which one you send is going to be dependent on the information you have for the person you're paying. So I looked ahead and the only thing that GM gives me in the, the payoff section is a place to mail a check. They didn't give me anything like this, which is kind of annoying, but we'll have to do paper check. Um, so the rest of this information you can find on, you know, if you have an invoice, if you have a, an account with them, um, you can find that, that information where to send it pretty quickly. Again, so for me, I'm just going to enter in this information and we'll rejoin you in a second. Okay, so the mailing information is now added. Now they want us to tell us more about GM Financial because I guess they can't tell by the name. So they have a drop down here and you can kind of go through and pick so you can see you have all your all your major options of who you may be paying. Um, vehicle and transportation is probably fine. Of course, they want it more specific. So um, vehicle loan payments. And I believe they do this to kind of filter out and make sure you're paying people that they want you to pay. Kind of maybe their uh, um, version of know your customer. But anyways, there you go. Two questions, not too bad. So let's move forward here. So who do you want to pay? GM Financial, we just put in their information. Um, so let's go. And so here we go. We have the Ink Premier card and it's here, here's a, a heads up. So be advised that Visa does not permit plastic to process credit card payments for mortgage, home equity, or credit card balances. Plastic may request more information after you submit your payment. Um, so there you go. That's just something to keep in mind. But again, this is a uh, for a, a car loan payment, so not a big deal. So then again, you just want to fill out the rest of this information. Now, I know I said it's 10,000. I'm going to do 5,000 because my credit limit is actually $10,000. And granted, I could move over more credit limit to the card from another ink card, but I'll just do it in two payments. That seems fine. So again, pay on the behalf of, you're just going to put your information in there. And then this other stuff down here, you can get um, from your account. So hang on a second while I pull that up. And then there we go, account number is entered. So we go into continue. When would you like this payment to be delivered? Looks like the earliest is March 2nd. So there we go, we don't want a reoccurring payment. Looks like they do want an option to upload an invoice to make to kind of check for it. It is optional. Um, so, you know, you could go ahead and do this if you wanted to. I think just since it's my first time, I will upload it. And I don't really have an invoice per se, but I'm going to go ahead. I'll upload like a screenshot of my account. Um, that might help them sort it out. Um, but again, they, they are saying it's optional, so you don't necessarily have to. So I can just drag that over there like so. There we go, we'll continue. 
All right, so here we have it. This is kind of the review payment section. So we're saying GM Financial, 5,000. You can see the total fees here. So you can see if you click into that, it's telling you the 2.85% base, which is $142. So definitely a good thing that we have our 2.5% multiplier and our Visa Savings Edge deal. Um, so GM and Financial will receive your payment on March 2nd to a check. This is their PO box that they're getting. Um, this is public information. You're paying with your Visa Inc. Premier card. Um, and down below is the account number, um, the tension payment processing my name, and then just the attachment that I uploaded for them. So there you go. That is pretty much all there is to it. And then you just want to go and of course, once you review that, hit submit payment, and then you're off to go. So again, it's a pop-up to pay it off or sync your bill. Then you have a payment ID number and then one less bill to worry about. Your payment was submitted. So there you go. And you can see down here, a payment will process appear on your payment on your credit card as payment on the description of Plastic GM Financial. So there we have it. That is a full overview. Now let's go back really quick here. So you can see, if you come back to the start, you can see bills, you can see paid. It's under process, which means they have it. There's also a timeline says submitted, processing sent, delivered by, and then deposited. So this could come in handy because you can definitely track to see when someone's deposited your check and then versus what that reflects on your actual credit card itself. So, and again, they have the actual delivery date. So you just want to make note of that and then, you know, remember um, that it's happening. So I believe I did get a confirmation email as well. So overall, nothing in schedule, nothing in draft. But yeah, that's been a look at plastics. So let's flip it back and close this one out. Okay, guys, and so there we have it. Check from Inc. Premier successfully sent to GM Financial. Now, again, I don't know if I mentioned it there, but yeah, I did $5,000 even though it's ten because my credit limit is 10000 on the card, so I didn't want to go over it. Um, realistically, I could have called in and moved credit limit over from my other Inc. cards, but I'm only going to use this card once, so it just seemed easier just to do it two separate ones. So I'll go back and do the other one in a, in a week or two. Um, so there you go. But overall, I think Plastic was pretty straightforward and easy to use. Again, this really comes in handy. Now, you know, I, again, I said I'll have the full video on the strategy um, separate from this, not to confuse everything together. But overall, doing this with the 2.85%, some other tricks, this still netted me $800 back on a purchase that, or, that I had to make or a card that I had to pay off. If I ACH GM Financial the money, then you know it wouldn't. I wouldn't have got anything for it. But instead, I got eight hundred dollars. My car car payment monthly is only six hundred twenty. And so, anyways, guys, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you find it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. Again, posting content just like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, right back here every Sunday with all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance. My question to you guys is: Let me know what you think about plastic. Have you used it before? You know, how have you used it to hit other signing bonuses, or do you not love that? 2.85% processing fee. Love to get your thoughts on that. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.